What's up, y'all? Hey, how's it going? Coming at you today with two sauce recipes. I'm gonna cover a low carb barbecue sauce. And I'm gonna cover a Thai peanut sauce. Is it spicy? No, not, not too spicy. Are. More of like a Thai sweet and spicy peanut sauce. It's delicious. So these are two recipes that have been on our blog for a while now. They're really yes. good. But a lot of you guys don't even know we have a blog. You just watch us on YouTube. So we decided some of the really good recipes from our blog, we wanna bring them to YouTube just so you guys aren't missing out. And these are two of them. Barbecue is a main staple in all of my foods. It's one of the four food groups. How many food groups are there even? Five? But now that we're in the South, barbecue sauce is a lot more prominent, so we need to be in it low carb style. Baby um, back ribs. Barbecue sauce. You love that one. You always do that song. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. Baby back ribs. No, you got it in the cheese. Please. I'll start. Okay. Mix in a little bit of a southern accent somewhere in there just because barbecue sauce. Okay. Alrighty. So we're going to make a delicious low carb barbecue sauce. And everything is actually just going to be put into a saucepan and then we're going to reduce it on the stovetop. So let's get our ingredients in here. We're going to start with one cup of reduced sugar ketchup. You can buy this in basically any grocery store in the ketchup aisle next to the normal ketchup. Okay. To your one cup of reduced sugar ketchup, half a cup of water. One fourth cup apple cider vinegar. I really love the addition of apple cider vinegar because it adds a nice subtle sweetness and then that like crisp apple, apple flavor without actually getting the apple in there. And then the most special part is that twang. <laughs> in our original recipe on our site, we used sugar-free maple syrup, which we do like to have in the house, but it's not our favorite to use. It has a ton of not so hot ingredients, sorbitol, cellulose gum, sodium benzate, elephant ears, hippo butt, just the grossest stuff ever. Instead, we're gonna change it up a bit. So you can use this if you have it at home and want to, two and a half tablespoons of sugar-free maple syrup, or we're gonna do 20 drops of liquid stevia, and let's say a fourth, a teaspoon of some maple extract. This stuff is intense, it's so good. We have liquid smoke. This is also easily found in any grocery store. We're gonna do half a teaspoon. Worcestershire sauce, one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, two teaspoons of black pepper, and half a teaspoon of onion powder. And just for the sake of pulling out all these flavors, we're gonna do a little pinch of salt. Perfect. And that's all there is to it. So now we're just gonna give it a nice stir and we're gonna reduce it on the stove top over medium low heat. You'll reduce it until it gets to the thick consistency that you prefer. When you reduce anything, the water evaporates so that makes any liquid get thicker. And that's the key. It should take about 15, 20 minutes. So I'm gonna go do that now and then we'll be back to show you what it looks like and to give it a little taste. Okay guys, we are going to make the Thai peanut sauce now. There is easier ways and more difficult ways, but probably tastier ways you can make this. For maximum flavor, you can use fresh ginger and fresh garlic cloves. To do that, you wanna use a blender to blend it all together. But the thing with that is you can't really make a small batch of it because you know you need a good volume in the blender to actually get it to really mix around well. So we're just gonna do it by hand using garlic powder and ginger powder. And this will be a quick, easy, whipped up Thai peanut sauce. It tastes delicious. The star of the show is that old man again, Crazy Richard's Natural Peanut Butter. This is the brand we like to get, but really any natural peanut butter will do. We just like to check and make sure the ingredients say peanuts, and that's really all you need. And we're gonna do a half cup. This is creamy, you can also use crunchy. I kinda like crunchy better. Half a cup. Now, if you get a version of natural peanut butter that isn't oily like this, Crazy Richard, he's a pretty oily guy. So he uses oily peanut butter. But if your peanut butter is not as oily, you can add like a teaspoon up to a tablespoon of sesame oil. And that gives it a really good flavor too. Nice Asian flavor. Should be about around 120 grams if you're doing it by grams. So we are gonna do a half teaspoon of ginger, half teaspoon of garlic. In this case, it's just going to be the rest of our ground ginger. And then for this one, we're gonna use rice vinegar, but if you have a lime, I think lime makes it a little better. I would prefer to use lime. We don't have a lime right now. A good substitution is rice wine vinegar. One tablespoon. 
Two tablespoons of soy sauce. Use whatever kind of soy sauce you like. There's coconut aminos, this is liquid aminos. There's tamari if you're going gluten-free, if you're one of those freaks. A half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, or really just as, however much you want to spice it up. If you wanna make it a really spicy sauce, you can even do like two teaspoons. And then 10 drops of liquid stevia, or just as much as you want. 10 drops doesn't really make it very sweet. It just kind of brings out the flavors of everything a little bit. Um, if you want to make it like a really sweet peanut sauce, I would go more like 30 drops, or you can completely omit this if you're going for more of a spicy sauce. Let's go with 10 drops. Now we're going to give this an initial mix and check the consistency. So we add water to this up to a quarter cup. I like to add it in slowly and just keep mixing until you get the consistency you want. We're getting somewhere. See like this is about how I like it right here. That's still like super thick though, right? You want it thinner? Your wish is my command. Thinner? A little thinner. A little thinner. The nice thing about this is it's just such a nice and easy quick sauce to whip up for like wing night or if you get just even like normal grilled chicken or something. It adds nice fat and a ton of good flavor to your meals. Oh, and with the last time we made this was when we did a hot pot because when you're doing hot pot, you're really just getting a lot of protein. So this is like a really nice high fat sauce to go along with that. So give it a little taste. So good guys, I'd say that's about right. Now what I like to do to present this is just put it in a nice little bowl. Rough chop. Top the sauce with it. Throw those on top. And that is your super quick and easy keto Thai peanut sauce. You can even drizzle a little bit of sesame oil on top to up the fat in this, but this is delicious with any Asian or really just any like barbecue grilled meat dish. Basically, you can just eat this for breakfast with a spoon too. That's really good. Uh, barbecue sauce, Megan's gonna check on it. It's reducing right now. She has to get over there to tend to it. All right, guys, so we let it go for a little longer than I would recommend, but it is perfectly thickened and reduced, so I'm gonna turn the heat off completely. Yeah, it definitely reduced down to about a half, and if you like your barbecue sauce thick, this is like really thick, this is perfect. So here it is, our perfectly reduced sauce. Like I said, down about a half. I would say this was even on the stove for like seven to 10 minutes on medium heat. And something to note about reducing this sauce, or really any sauce, is that the more reduced it is, the more concentrated the flavor, but also the more concentrated the carbs. So the more it is reduced, the less sauce you even need for the flavor, for the taste, um, to coat your meat or your fingers. So let's give this a try. It's really hot. Oh, that's intense. Ooh. The, like the combination of the sweet and the apple cider vinegar, they really just like, they like have a battle in your mouth. It's delicious. This is a great, quick, easy, redu reduced low carb barbecue sauce. Trying it again, it's definitely a cross between a traditional sweet barbecue sauce and like a more vinegar based sauce. I'm a fan of the vinegar based, Matt likes the sweet. So this is really just the perfect home run to get us right in the middle, make one batch and eat it with everything. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby Jilly, back. I want my baby back, baby back. Barbecue. You say baby back. <laughs> and we'll be back to give a little taste.